So in this tutorial, we'll try to understand how to plot temperature variation along the pin fin using MATLAB. So here is the data which is given to us and we have to find out the solution. So first we'll find out the analytical solution and then we'll see how to plot the temperature variation along the pin fin using the MATLAB code. So here we are having the cylindrical rod of 2 cm diameter and 25 cm length as shown over here and it is given that the temperature at the base at this particular section the temperature is 100 degrees centigrade and temperature of the fluid that is surrounding this particular rod is air and that air temperature is given as 30 degrees centigrade and it is given that this free end of the rod is well insulated. So we can use certain boundary conditions to solve this particular example. Now there are two conditions which are given to us. In first case it is given that if the rod is made up of copper with thermal conductivity of 330 watt per meter kelvin and if it is made up of steel with thermal conductivity of 49 watt per meter kelvin the atmospheric heat transfer coefficient h is given as 7 watt per meter square kelvin then we have to find out the temperatures at the free end of this particular rod so here the length and the diameter they are given diameter is given as 2 cm convert it into meter length is given as 25 cm so it is 0.25 meter temperature at the base that is at this particular section is 100 degrees centigrade atmospheric air temperature is 30 degrees centigrade and heat transfer coefficient is 7 watt per meter square kelvin now we know that perimeter will be pi d so it is pi into 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 so it is 0.06283 meter cross sectional area of this particular rod is pi by 4 d square so that area also we have calculated. The most important point are the boundary conditions which are there. So at x is equal to 0, that is this is the point at x is equal to 0, theta is equal to theta 0, that is temperature difference is equal to temperature difference at the base. So at the base the temperature is 100 and the atmospheric air temperature is 30. So that particular temperature difference that is 100 minus 30 is 70 degree centigrade. So that is the temperature difference that is existing at this particular base whereas at this particular end it is the insulated end and therefore the gradients are zero so d theta by dx is equal to zero so at x is equal to l that it has x is equal to 0 0.25 meter or 25 centimeter the temperature gradients they are zero that is d theta by dx is equal to zero so these are the two boundary conditions which would be useful for us while solving the differential equations using the matlab code now first we'll see how to solve this using analytically so for copper rod k is given as 330 watt per meter kelvin the parameter m is given by root of hp upon kk and that value is 2.05968 meter inverse and temperature distribution along the pin fin is given by theta upon theta 0 that is temperature difference at any distance x divided by temperature difference at the base is equal to hyperbolic cos of ml minus x divided by hyperbolic cos of ml so at the end of the pin fin x is equal to l and if we substitute x is equal to l over here that term will be cos 0 and that is 1 so it is 1 upon cos ml and if you substitute the value of m and l over here then the temperature difference at the end that we can obtain is 61.645 degree centigrade for copper rod similarly for steel rod the value of k only is different that is 49 watt per meter kelvin as given in the example so if you substitute those values over here we'll get the value of m that is 5.345 meter inverse and similarly theta upon theta 0 is equal to 1 upon cosh ml and the temperature difference at the end of the pin fin or fin is given by the value 34.41 degree centigrade so these particular values we have to verify by drawing the temperature variation along this particular pin fin using the MATLAB code. Now the differential equation in case of the fin is given by d2 theta by dx where it is a second order differential equation minus m square theta is equal to 0. Now for copper rod the value of m that we have obtained is 2.05968. So if you substitute those values over here in this equation m square that is this particular value square and that comes out to be 4.2422 theta so we have to solve this differential equation using MATLAB similarly for steel rod also 
instead of theta we have just changed that value that theta 1 so d2 theta 1 by dx square minus m square theta 1 is equal to 0 and this particular square of this particular term is come to be, is coming to be 28.569 theta 1 so using the matlab code we can solve these two equations differential equation second order differential equation and then we'll plot the temperature variation so this is our first equation and this is the second equation first one will be for copper rod and another one will be for steel rod so as you can see over here theta is equal to d sol is a function now this is the d2 theta that term we have indicated over here minus sign as it is 4.2422 theta is equal to 0 and the boundary conditions are at x is equal to 0 theta is equal to 70 degree centigrade and at x is equal to 0 0.25 d theta by dx is equal to 0 so d2 theta by dx square so this particular parameter x indicates that we are differentiating with respect to x or it is second order equation differential equation in terms of x so d2 theta by dx square minus 4.2442 into d theta into theta is equal to 0 and these are the boundary conditions and we are differentiating with respect to x we can display the value of theta and we can draw so easy plot theta and these are the limits for x x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 0 0.25 this hold on command is used to keep this particular plot on till we go to the next step also so in the next step we have to have this particular we are having this particular differential equation d2 theta 1 upon dx square so this is d2 theta 1 so d sol is the function which will solve the differential equation so d2 theta 1 minus 28.569 theta 1 is equal to 0 and again the conditions are same at x is equal to 0 temperature difference theta 1 is 70 degree centigrade and at x is equal to 0 0.25 d theta 1 by dx is equal to 0 display the value of theta 1 and easy plot theta 1 and again these are the limits for x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 0 0.25 hold on this particular curve and on the grid so that we can easily interpret the values so when we run this particular matlab code we will get this particular distribution this is for the copper rod and now as you can see at x is equal to 0 the temperature difference is 70 degrees centigrade and at x is equal to 0 0.25 the temperature difference is around 62 or 61 so we have already analytically calculated that particular value so it comes very closer to that particular value and here also in case of this steel rod the temperature difference at the end is around 34.4 that is at x is equal to 0 0.25 which we have already calculated analytically so in this way we can plot the temperature variation along the pin fin by using this particular matlab code